Hi there, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems and Boris Effects, and today I'm going to show you how to stabilize the horizon using the Mocha Pro plugin and the Metal Skybox tools. So in this video we discuss 360 slash VR stabilization techniques for Adobe users. In the last year, new camera technology and VR headset availability has made 360 degree filmmaking a popular new medium. While immersive 360 video is exciting to experience, moving cameras can often produce jitters and warps that make for a poor viewing experience, even causing the viewer to become nauseous. A solution to these problems is to stabilize the horizon, making the moving 360 video much easier to view. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Metal Skybox tools and the Mocha Pro plugin right inside of After Effects to stabilize our shot. So let's go over to our effects and presets and type in Metal. And we're going to take our Metal Skybox converter and drag it and drop it. For our input, we're going to leave this as echo rectangular because this is an echo rectangular image. And for our output, we're going to change this to a cube map. Now, I don't actually want to track this part of the shot because that's the front. What I actually want is this part. So we're going to go to our reorient camera view and we're going to pan this around until we have our tree in the background. Now let's just scroll through the shot and make sure it stays in the center of the shot. That's going to give us our transform data up and down and we're going to use that to convert this to a echo rectangular again and use our reorient with tracking data to put this back into place. So how does that work? I'm going to select my layer and I'm going to go to layer precompose. Now it's very important that when we precompose this that we move all our attributes into the new composition. So we're going to hit OK and now this is an image that I can load into Mocha. We do that because the way After Effects works it needs to sort of flatten the image into a precomp to read it off the timeline so we're going to type in Mocha and we're going to drag and drop our new Mocha Pro 5 plugin right on top of this. What I want you to notice is that this is going to read right from the timeline we're going to make sure we're on full resolution and click launch Mocha. Now that we've launched Mocha, you can see that we're reading in our cube map. It's important to mention that our goal is to find a trackable spot on the horizon line so we can smooth out the jitters and warps introduced by the camera motion. Even though the dog sled is moving forward, we're able to find a trackable horizon spot behind the camera. We are not concerned with the scale, but only the X, Y, and rotation movement on the horizon. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to track our tree. Let's go ahead and track translation, scale, and rotation. No need to track shear or perspective. And we're going to call this tree track for stabilize. In Mocha, we draw a spline around the object we want to track. And because we are a planar tracker, we track all of the pixels inside of the spline. So everything within this mat. We're going to track luminance, which is our R, G, and B channels combined. That's almost always what you want to use. And we're going to let Mocha pick the minimum percent of pixels used for us. That's our accuracy, but Mocha's really good at deciding what the fastest minimum percent of pixels used for our tracking time is going to be. When we track translation, scale, and rotation, that's because we're doing a stabilize. Shear and perspective will actually make our stabilize warp oddly. We're going to use large motion, and we're going to go ahead and hit track forward. We can turn our surface tool on and see exactly what our track is doing. Let's hit save and we're going to go to export tracking data. In export tracking data we're going to select our After Effects transform data which is position, scale, and rotation. We're going to copy that right to the clipboard and we're going to close Mocha. The next thing we're going to do is go to layer, new, null object. Now we're creating a null object because we're going to use this to pick whip the data into our comp. So let's go, let's go to edit, paste, and now our tracking data will be on our null. From here what we can do is scroll down, open our transform, we can select our position, we can separate values. Okay, so that's just a right click to do that. What this will do is this will give us X, Y, and rotation. We don't need scale, so we can actually just turn that off if we like, so that we don't get confused. Now we have our pre-comp, Okay, we're going to need to pre-comp this again in order to apply Metal Skybox back on top of this a second time. So let's go to Layer, Pre-Compose. Inside of Layer, Pre-Compose, we're going to move all attributes into the composition again. I'm going to call this Cube to Equi Metal. And we're going to hit OK. Let's go ahead and find our Metal 
skybox converter and drag and drop this right onto our precomp. Now what we can do is it'll automatically convert cube map to echo rectangular for us. What we're interested in is reorient. Inside of reorient we have tilt which is X, pan which is Y, and roll which is Z which is going to correspond to X, Y, and Z. So let's twirl down and get to our effects, metal skybox, and reorient camera view. Let's bring this up so we can see everything. You can see that we have X, Y, and Z. I'm going to option click X, option click Y, and option click Z. We're going to pick whip X to X, Y to Y, and we're going to pick whip Z to rotation. But now we actually have to do some math. So we're going to type in times 360 divided by 1920, which is the width of our comp in the first place. And we're going to do plus value after that. Again, times 360 plus value. And then for rotation, just plus value. We're going to select both of these one more time. We're going to go to layer, precompose, move all attributes into the new composition, take our converter, and let's reorient our camera until our horizon is straight. Now when we hit play, our stabilize is rendered right back to our After Effects timeline using the Metal Skybox plugin and Mocha Pro the plugin. If you have any questions, I am Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and you can find more information on our website at www.imagineersystems.com.